this isn't it. Where did it get to? Let's keep looking. Oh! Oh! Hey! That's it! I found it! Oh! Rackle! Hey, Rackle! Wait a second! Huh? Hi, Money! I found the perfect book for you! What's it all about? Just wait, you'll love it! It's all about the world of dinosaurs. Great stories, real interesting. Here! It's for people who are really into dinosaurs. Like you. I'd love to take it, but no way, I don't have a bean. No problem. Take it wow. anyway. Thanks, Muddy. It's a gift. You're a real friend. I'll go right home and start reading. Thanks again. It's really satisfying to know he liked my gift. <laughs> hey, hi, Braveheart. Go to the high up. I'll be right there. This one's Trick, Patch, Riker, Proto, and Argy. These five little dinosaurs will be our friends. And now, let's see. You'll become a steadfast, fearless knight, and I'll call you Lord Braveheart. <laughs> What's a fearless knight without his trusty steed? I'll find you one that's worthy of your rank. Huh. No, that's no good. I can't see you riding a troll. Not an owl either. No way. But they'll all play a role. Hey! I've got it! You'll ride a giant snail. <laughs> that will be your steed, and its name will be Sluggard. <laughs> Happy? here. Boy, am I happy to see you. Hi, Patch. I was looking for you. I'm here, too. Trick, what are you doing <laughs> in there? <laughs> Taking a bath. Come on out of there. Here come the others. Hey! Mike and Proto, we're all here. What are you doing here? I have a problem, and I need your help. What's that? A parchment. Where'd you find it? it looks pretty old. It found me. It was dawn, and there was nobody awake. Except me, and I could feel something was about to happen. I did a tour of the palace, and then, on an impulse, I went into the throne room. Hey, I hope you didn't sit on the throne. That's absolutely not allowed. No, I didn't sit on it. Chaka told me I'll be able to one day, but as far as for now is concerned... Uh, you can't. Right. So tell us what happened, huh? Well, I walked up to the throne, and as I ran my hand over the back of it, this mechanism went off and revealed a secret niche. The parchment was inside. It's an ancient dinosaur. None of us can read that. I must find out what it says. I'm sure it's really important. There's the school bell. Better go or we'll be late for class. We've got our own field trip here. Hey, wait a second. I know who can help us. That old guy, Mudavar. You mean the man who lives near the craters and is always digging for strange stuff? Yes, he's a real genius. Right. He's an expert in ancient dinosaur. Great. 
Then what are we waiting for? Let's go find him. Yeah, let's We're go. We're wasting time. Yeah, right away. Leave right now. How long will it take? All day and then some. Patch, look over there. We could use that boat. Right. If we borrow it, we could reach Mudabar's house in half the time, huh? Right. It sure beats walking. What's the problem? We thought we might borrow the boat. Sounds good. But, but we don't want anybody to know, and we have to find out if it's seaworthy. I'll go check it out. If it's ship shape and there's no one around, I'll signal you to join me. Join him, one at a time. At least nobody can find us and send us back to school. We're miles away from the city. Something on your mind? What's the matter, my Rackle? What will Mylan and the others think when they realize I'm gone, that I'm no longer in the palace? What's the big deal? You have special magic powers. Why don't you send them a message? I wish I could, but I don't know how to use them. Just concentrate and send it by telepathy. Just like it was a letter. Let me think. Hmm. Something like, today we're not gonna go to school because I'm dead on my feet. The point is, you let him know now and then give him the details when you get back. That sounds kind of underhand to me. Well, tell the truth and say you intend to come back. Wait a second. All I want to do is ask permission. Huh? And maybe I just figured out how to do it. Huh? We've looked everywhere. I'm afraid it seems our prince has disappeared. <laughs> Look behind you. Huh? Prince Rackle. Yes, in person. <laughs> Where were you hiding, my boy? I wasn't trying to get away with anything. But anyway, I'd like to apologize and ask you something. May I stay out of school for the whole day? As your tutor, I am touched by your honesty and by your sense of responsibility. There will be no lessons today. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Where'd he go? Uh, where'd he disappear to? Rackle! He's vanished! <laughs> <laughs> he materialized using his magic powers! He'll blow me down. He fooled me. The boy is a fast learner. <laughs> You're back! <laughs> Hurry, lower the sail! There are dangerous rapids up ahead of us! screw in the whole world you've shown how well you can work together we're safe hooray hooray nothing's impossible for the mesozoic gang and its heroic leader long live rackle thank you hooray hooray, hooray. 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 hooray.
about well I had to stop you at all costs huh? watch see that <sighs> that would have happened to you luckily we know how to get across quicksand without going under watch how we solve the problem tightly uh. that's it now we have a gangplank <laughs> what do you think you have the honor of trying it out captain Steps and don't stray off the path I take. Stop! Hold it! It's time to open our lunch boxes. I don't get it. I don't have a lunchbox, and this is no time to eat anyway. Let me explain. See those holes in the rock face? A colony of flesh-eating plants lives in them, and they are dangerous. Luckily, they argue a lot of them themselves. Wait till you see them. All right. This is my plan. Huh? We'll throw in our lunchboxes, and as soon as they start fighting over them, we'll make a run for it. Take this, Rackle. Thanks. All ready to throw? Ready. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! We're safe! We made it! Yes, but that monster bitch tried to make a snack out of me! <laughs> Who's here? The Stone Age gang in all its glory. <laughs> Cutting classes, huh? You're supposed to be in school. You don't go to school, you don't get ahead. Most of the Gradstone. Prince Rackle found a parchment written in ancient dinosaur. Yeah. Mm -hmm, interesting. An ancient dinosaur. Then I'll be able to read it. Let me see it. Now, let's see what it's all about. My name is Aurora. I'm the last guardian of the flow of life. The Supreme One wants you, Prince Rackle, to help me. The forces of evil are destroying my defenses, and the final battle is already underway. Maya, Thanatos, Magic, Barbarius, and Sterminius have captured me, and I am guarded by five sentries who have neutralized my powers. I am the only guardian left, but every day I grow weaker and weaker. You must rescue me so that I can recover my powers. That is the only way I can show you the road and save the world. I don't get it. I don't know this person. But you're the chosen one. According to the prophecy, you and your five gallant knights will destroy the forces of evil and restore the balance. And a noble lord will traverse the unknown lands to fight at your side. Where are we gonna find five gallant knights? Mylan, Chaka, and Cordal are the most noble lords I know. Huh? Right, but there are still two missing. The parchment says five. Don't forget the one who has to cross the unknown lands. One could be the leader of the Pterodactyl. What about the commander of the mammoths? Who else? I think Muddy would make a great knight. He's right. All right, yeah. but we're still one short. That's enough. Be quiet. 
Now kneel before me. I know who are the knights in question, but there's no time to contact them. So you, with your courage and loyalty, will be their substitutes. With the power conferred on me by my title, I name you Argy, Baron of the Land of Dinosaurs. You may rise, Sir Argy. Listen up, my friends. We're on our own from now on. We have to find and free Aurora, the guardian of the flow of life. Unfortunately, the parchment doesn't specify the location where the forces of evil are holding her prisoner, but we'll find her anyway. We're prepared to overcome all obstacles in your service, sire. Nothing can stop us. I'll have to use my astral body again. Remember that when I do, I'll be totally vulnerable with no way to defend myself. Don't worry. We, your five trusty knights, won't allow anyone to approach you in that condition. Magnetic barriers stronger than my powers. You discovered my message and found the way. You must act quickly. I have no strength left. I can't get through the barrier, but I can transmit you some of my energy, and that will revive you. <laughs> I feel better already. You should have enough strength now to resist the forces of evil until I find a way to neutralize the magnetic barrier. It won't take you long. Thank you. I have to go now, but I'll be back. Don't forget that my salvation is part of your destiny. Please hurry, my lord. Did you do it? Hey, how did it go? Have you found out where Aurora's being held? Did you see huh? her? Speak with her? Right. What's the next move, Tell Rackle? What we have huh? to do? Hey, calm down. Easy. There's no time to waste. I'll tell you all about it on the road. We have to get to the Great Sea that lies beyond the volcano. I had was to get here. What we need is a raft. There's not a tree in sight. I think the Great Sea is the pits. Hey, come on. We'll find a solution somehow. A solution? What solution? I don't see any solution. We'll find one. Hey, look over there. The 50th formation at your service, sir. Sorry we're a little late, but we got delayed by powerful magnetic fields. What did I tell you? We just found our solution. <laughs> I'm Captain Rodas, sir. 
We're here to solve your problems. Well, right now, our problem is to get to the other side of the sea over there. Our motto is, if it's a difficult mission, call in whoever you like. If the mission's impossible, call in the 15th formation, right, lads? Nothing and nobody can ever stop us! Hooray! Mission! Hooray for Captain Rodan! Hooray! What are we waiting for? Let's climb aboard, friends! Close a look at those plants, Captain. Those are the strangest looking things I ever saw. Sometimes the strangest things in the unexplored territories are the most dangerous, sir. You could be right, Captain. Get us out of here. Curses! I had a hunch this might happen. What do we do? We have to stand and fight, my lord. You'll find weapons stowed under the wings. Get the weapons! We'll show you, you brutes! Every man for himself! Thanks, Captain. We've reached our first objective. You see that cave with the light? That's where they're holding Aurora. It's protected with a magnetic field. We'll make camp here and rest up while I figure out the best way to free her. Keep your eyes open, men. Something's about to happen. And whatever it is, I don't like it. I don't like it either, sire. <laughs> <laughs> decrepit steed of yours, and woe is me that I have such a luckless squire! <laughs> there they are again! Come on down and face me if you have the courage! Come on down, and I'll give you a taste of my sword! After I run through the Dragon Witch, I'll make saddlecloth out of you two and give it to my squire! <laughs> Knight is dead and peck his body into little pieces. Go now. At once, mistress. Where are we? Are we dead? No, sire. We're in Sluggard's shell. What? That lazy good for nothing has his own reserve of clover. 
just as well. It cushioned the impact. Well, did you find them? No sign of the night. Only the snail's shell defeating the fish. Excellent. There's nothing happening outside Aurora's cave. Nobody sighted us yet. They're overconfident, thanks to their powerful magnetic barrier. I'm going to report back to the palace with my astral body. Make sure you guard me while I'm gone. You can count on it, my prince. Keep up your surveillance on the cave, Captain. Every movement made by the guards will be picked up by our onboard radar systems. For defense against fireballs. No, this isn't up to standard either. <laughs> what kind of a welcome is this? What's going on here? Brackle! What the? Brackle! Boy! Why have you come back? You couldn't Tell have me. chosen a worse moment. What is going on here? We're at war. They launched a mass attack. Thanatos, Barbarius, Sterminius, Magic, and Maya. They want you. Have you any idea why you mean so much to them, my boy? Huh? I don't know. But in the unexplored territories, dragons guard a cave shaped like a skull. They're holding Aurora prisoner there, and I have to free her. Now I understand. Maya senses that you're a threat to her evil plans and wants to stop you by capturing you. That boy is more and more on the ball. Yes, but I fear he overestimates his ability. In that case, maybe we should follow him. Never waver from your path, Rackle. They'll regret the day they challenged you. If they want to capture me, they'll have to defeat me first. Ah, here come the Knights of Nature. Welcome, I was expecting you. The company of the Knights of Nature greets you, Prince Rakal. My prince! Thank you for coming! Your help is welcome here! That's why we answered your summons with such urgency. We accept the responsibility of defeating the hordes of evil, but the fate of Aurora is in your hands. There is no time to lose, Prince Rackel. We will be in combat before you know it! Thank you, and good luck! Is Rackel already on the field of battle, Cordell? Well, what's happening? Relax. Rackel has everything under control. What's he done now? He's enlisted the aid of the five knights of nature. That's all very well, but what's his first move going to be? He'll free Aurora. Now it gets my vote. With full control of his powers, he'll defeat the forces of evil. The... Of course he will, but I still <laughs> fear for his safety. Rackel, Rackel, wait! There's no point looking for him. You're back! Thank goodness! Everything's quiet, my prince. I think this is a good time to attack. And we'll do so immediately, Captain. Now, listen carefully. Captain Rodan and I will wait for the Knights of Nature, while you five in the 15th formation will catch the guards by surprising. You can do it! The Knights of Nature reporting for duty, Prince Racco. That's great. Perfect timing. What are your orders? Should we attack right now? No, I'm gonna need all your reserves of energy in order to free Aurora. My companions are taking out the guards now. They'll signal us when they've finished. There's the signal. Follow me for Aurora and victory! Clear the way, Prince Rackle. The guards are gone. 
fast and efficient. I knew I could rely on you. Meet our new companions. The Knights of Nature salute you. It's a pleasure and an honor. Now it's time for us to enter the cave and free Aurora. The rest of you stand guard outside and make sure nobody gets in our you way. You got it, Prince Raikou. There's an enemy patrol coming this way. Remember, Rako's safety depends on us. We'll strike first and drive them off. Attack! <laughs> Our friends are under attack. can do justice to your tenacity and your courage, but I will sing your praises among the stars. Long live the little knights! Hooray! Long live the little knights! Hooray! Now our little heroes must return to their homes. These are for you. Welcome, Aurora. Thank you, my lord Myelin. This is the way. I agree. Uh, let's go. I'd have chosen the path on the left. Oh, well, luckily I decide around here. When the going gets tough, don't say I didn't warn you. This is the right road. If you ask me, we're lost. No, we're not. You're just saying that. <laughs> what does he know? This looks like a good place to make camp. Watch your step, sire. Hmm, there's no clover for miles around. That's no good. Armor is such a bore. Freeze in winter and roast in summer. Huh? Who's there? Hey, uh, maybe he can help us. Hey, you! Hey, you! Ah! Hey, ah! Come back! Name's too noble for a nag like that. Where are you? Have no fear. I, I just want to ask you a question. Uh, one easy answer and you'll never see me again. I need a hand. I'm lost. Actually, I don't even know where I'm going. Uh -huh. Hey, you! Uh, no, don't run away. Oh, just want to know. You want to know if this is the right road? <laughs> yes, this is the right road, the right road, the right road. Zebra, we haven't seen each other in 200 years! 198, Uncle. But that's not the point. I have news for you. Really? What's it all about? A knight called Lord Braveheart is on his way here. I've made sure that without his knowledge, all the trolls are seeing that he keeps to the right road. What? That's high priority information. Did you hear? The knight mentioned in the prophecy is coming here. <laughs> With the knight at our side, victory is a foregone conclusion. How did you learn of his arrival? My nephew, Zebra, told me. This is excellent news. We're going to defeat the forces of evil. But don't forget, his arrival is a secret. 
In order to defeat Maya, I must reorganize my army and draw up a plan of attack. You will generate a new race, endowed with immense powers, and you will defeat evil. But first you must overcome many enemies in order to save the world. Count on it, Aurora. May the gods protect you. Thank you, my friends! Thank you! May this land flourish with prosperity and happiness. Just the sight of all those cookies makes my mouth water. I could eat all of them. Sick to your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on here? My lord, allow me to offer my beloved prince and his companions a taste of my cookies. It'd be a great honor for me. Begin, begin. Thanks, we'll be happy to. What do you say? <laughs> I'll take this flower-shaped cookie. Wait a minute. Please accept this, my lord, in the name of all the students of the land of the dinosaurs. Thank you. Welcome. This gift is in the hope that the school will cut our history class. Well, sir? History is an important subject, an essential one, I'd no, say. No, sir, but I thought we could go study it with Marie, the archaeologist. That's worthy of consideration. Really appreciate it, sir. Forget it. He's not gonna go for it. Who knows? Hey, Argy, you've got a lot of guts making a proposal like that to old Milet. We have to stay alert around the clock. Oh. Watch, with Boyd. Watch out! Ah! 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 She's dangerous! That way! demise is only a question of time. Don't expect any help. The knight who was supposed to join you didn't know how to swim and drown. <laughs> hmm, my cat's out of the bag. My nephew's information about the knight's imminent arrival is common knowledge. We knew all about it before he told you. Somebody might have tried to attack him, or... Or he might even be lost. Someone should go help him. Captain Rodat and the 15th formation. Excellent. Notify the captain at once. We'll go. They're smart kids. If only they'd study a bit more, though. Uh, 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 Don't start that again, Myelin. You promised you'd stay uh, off their backs uh, for a while. Uh, uh, you're right. On your feet, you good for nothings. Wake up. The sun's already high. Mm, it's still too early. Go away. <laughs> Come on out, you lazy slug. Get moving, you... <laughs> They've gone mad. I regret that I have had neither the time nor the means to show you my gratitude for having saved our lives. Take this crown of clover as a sign of my appreciation. Oh, thank you, <laughs> kind and generous lord. Spoiling him like that is not a good idea, sire. Hmm? It is merely a ploy to prevent him running off again, to fill his belly. <laughs> Watch how I have him under control now. Come on, Slugger, time to go. As you wish, my lord. <laughs> Thank you, faithful squire. <laughs> Where do we go from here? I say we cut through the forest. And when we reach the river, we follow along the bank. Oh, 
Better safe than sorry. Hold on, Slippy! Here I come! Monsters appear to be joining the enemy, but we'll sell our lives dearly. Charge! Attack! Maybe they're going for the wrong target, sire. I would dare to gainsay that. It huh? seems those flying monsters have come to our rescue. They're friends. What did I tell you? It's time to join the fray! Come on, charge! Retreat! 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 I am Lord Sean Braveheart, sir. And on behalf of myself and my troops, I offer you my gratitude. I'm Captain Rodat, sir. 50th formation. Uh, formation? What's that? Beats me! I and my formation have been dispatched here on a special mission by King Chaka and Prince Rackle. Prince Rackle, I'm supposed to join up with him. He has urgent need of my assistance, even though I don't know why. I'm under orders, Lord Braveheart, to conduct you to the land of the dinosaurs without delay. I am honored, and so is my retinue. Yeah, long Hooray! live Prince Hooray! Rackle, I Hooray! say. Hooray! Commander Rodat, my troops and I willingly accept your noble escort. Thank you, sir. 15th formation. We'll deploy in two squadrons. The first will wreck the upper head, and the second will act as a rear guard. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Who is invincible? The first form pushing. Take off. Fall in with the escort. <laughs> Onward. Show more vigor, Slippy. I'll try. Allow me to make a proposal, noble knight. A valiant ally always has my ear. Why don't you climb onto my back? We'll get you to the palace much faster like that, sir. What? Such a proposal can only be the fruit of senseless folly. My steed and I are a single indivisible. <laughs> What's going on? My lord, heed his words. It's for the best. I will brief you on the situation during the flight. When you're ready, sir. Very well, if you insist. You'll be eternally grateful, my lord. Up you get, sire. The captain's waiting. <laughs> Case of temporary insanity. Oh, my lord. He must have smelled clover. Don't despair. He'll come back, sir. Uh, a knight without his steed is like a bird without wings. I've become rather attached to that stupid snail. We've been together for more than a decade. I'll tell you why he threw a fit like that. It's the mating season. And all his kind meet here to what? propagate their race. You're saying this is where all gastropods are born? Exactly, sir. What coincidence. Uh -oh. Tire! I sighted the five small knights heading in this direction on a large container bird. How can I greet a delegation of chivalrous knights if I have no steed? A container bird? Look What's for a yourself, sir. Uh -huh. Lord Brazen. Uh -huh. On behalf of Prince Rakel, I am honored to welcome you to the land of the dinosaurs. The honor is mine. Welcome! Welcome, Lord Thank you! Welcome. Thank you, brave knights! To you the honor of boarding first, my lord. Now hear this! We will fly in ceremonial escort formation. This is marvelous. Flying is such a thrill. There's nothing like it, sire. Oh, 
card. Prince Racco. Welcome, sir. My liege. Arise, Lord Braveheart. We've all been expecting you. Your presence at our side will allow us to foil Maya's plans and defeat her once and for all. My liege, it'll be a pleasure. I have unfinished business with that harridan. Yes. Not the only one who has a score to settle with her, Lord Braveheart. Come on, I'll show you the palace. We have to talk. Sire. Pay close attention. These are the locations chosen for immediate field training. Time is of the essence, but we cannot afford to overlook anything. We must create an army that's ready for any eventuality. This location near the treehouses will be our campaign headquarters. Lord Braveheart will train two Tyrannosauruses and instruct two volunteer dinosaur platoons in swordcraft. We all think that that is your most difficult task, training and endowing with a sense of duty the most undisciplined creatures in the land of dinosaurs. But they've already proven their courage. It's discipline that counts. Get all the rest you can. From tomorrow on, we'll have no respite. Hello? Rackle, this is Kendra. I can't come over this afternoon. My mom won't let me out of the house until I clean up my room and do my homework. Hey, no problem. As soon as my mom gets home, I'll come over and give you a hand. How about that? Hey, thanks. Bye. <gasps> oh, I'm so sleepy. <clears throat> Gentlemen, as of this moment, you all have the honor of belonging to Kendra Company. That's the name of the princess that we have to save. I have been appointed to command you. My name is Lord Sean Braveheart, soldier of fortune. I have never known the shame of defeat. Therefore, I will turn you into fearless fighters, and you will make sure my honor is never tarnished. Oh, rats! This is worse than in school. I volunteered for combat, not to be preached at. You there. Step forward and introduce yourself, sir. <laughs> Who, me? I, 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 uh, my name's Mycar. Very well, Sir Micah. So you wish to fight, eh? Then I will give you immediate satisfaction. <laughs> huh? We'll find you a sword and see if you wield it as deftly as you do your tongue. <laughs> I fear nothing and nobody! Hunger! <laughs> <laughs> Rest assured, it is not your courage that is in doubt, sir, but your ability to wield a sword. This will teach my car to keep his mouth shut. As long as your skill is inferior to your courage, you will always save a defeat. <laughs> Even though your style is more suited to a tavern brawl than to the noble art of fencing, you do have a certain innate... <laughs> Well done, sir. There's no fair play on the battlefield. But once you put me down, why didn't you leap on me and finish me off? Gentlemen, if you are imbued with the same courage as your friend, it will be an honor to command you. <laughs> Only Prince Rackle! <laughs> Lord Braveheart's job is an ungrateful one. He will never be able to teach them <laughs> discipline. What is our strategy to be? My nephew Zipra tells me that enemy troops are massing on the other side of the border. We can't wait any longer. I'll leave immediately. No, it's inadvisable to take the initiative at this early stage. We'll send Lord Braveheart and his company on a reconnaissance mission. Their training should be complete by now. <laughs> formation is fully trained and ready for action, sir. Your airborne troops have achieved an excellent level of preparation, Captain. 
Lord Braveheart, a dispatch from the Supreme Council! Thank you. It's the order to deploy, Captain Rodat. From this moment on, our war games become real. Have the troops fall in, ready to move out. Yes, sir. Fall in. Check your weapons and equipment. All airborne units ready to move out on the double. <laughs> Sluggard! What's the matter? Are you in despair because I'm going off to war? No, I'm frightened by my own inadequacy. I'll never be able to serve you again, sire. <laughs> Forgive and forget is what I say. You do? Well, then, what's the problem? <laughs> Sluggard upon my soul! Well, now you're back in the saddle again, sire. What are your orders? <laughs> Onwards and upwards, as always! <laughs> Change gear. Oh! My fellow warriors, the time has come to move out and confront the forces of evil. We don't fear them. Victory will be ours because we're fighting for truth and justice. Wrong, sire. The birds have stopped singing. Slippy, stop the column. Yes, sir. Giddy up. Stop! Everybody, stop it. Wait for orders. Stop! <laughs> Sound the alarm. It's an ambush. The enemy is hidden in the trees. What now? This calls for a stroke of genius. <laughs> it's up to you, Tyrannosauruses. Knock down the trees and drive them out of their lairs. I don't want to see a branch left standing. Go get them, team! Yes, sir. Most sincere compliments, Slugger. Your courage and determination amaze me. Kind of you to notice. We must hasten to the night's rescue. You see, it's never too late for a young horse to learn new tricks. I'd say that goes for both of us. Attack! Not in that direction, Slippy. Uh -huh. There's more of them moving up from the south. <laughs> They're gathering like bees to honey. Looks like we're completely surrounded. Someone will have to report back to the palace, Sluggard. It's our only chance! I'm raring to go. A man after my own heart. Report to Prince Rackle with all the haste at your disposal and tell him we need reinforcements. You got it. <clears throat> May luck be on your side, Sluggard. Should we never meet again, should I die in battle, rest assured that 
In spite of your loathsome character, I have never had a better steed. You gotta stay away from the downside, sire. Think positive. Sluggish Sluggard's gonna save the day. You really think so? Count on But it. they've got us surrounded! Don't allow your mental instability to turn you into a manic depressive. You insolent slug! I'll have you know the best steed I ever had was a white horse! Unlikely. But true. Now go, presumptuous dolt! <laughs> That laggard snail is without doubt the most arrogant, outspoken creature in the entire universe. Then I want to say I'm sorry. Stand aside! I'm Lord Braveheart's ambassador! Your mom? What's going on out there? Who are you? Sluggard Prince Rackle, Class A gastropod assigned to Lord Braveheart, who's entrusted me with a dispatch. Our troops are surrounded by the enemy in Eagle Pass to the north of the city. They're still holding out, but they need reinforcements ASAP. Rackle, don't worry, my boy. Gastropods are notorious liars. Really? Yes. Hey, who are you calling a liar, huh? The situation is desperate. If that's so, we must do something on the double. We must deploy the army, call up the reservists, and hasten to save the day. If I sit out right away with Sluggard, Gastropods are as fast as lightning. I'll be there in a flash, in time to come to the rescue of Lord Braveheart. The Knights of Nature will go with you, Prince Rockle. Very well. May the gods go with you, too. Let's show them who they're up against! <gasps> Backs against the cliff and fight for your lives! Night fights to the bitter end, lads! Forward! Fall ah! my soul! Sluggard's back! Forward for Prince Rocco! Yeah, we lost the skirmish, but not the war. My prince, my liege. Rise, Lord Braveheart. Are you wounded? Oh, no. No, not even a scratch, my prince. Your valor and your loyalty do you credit. scoundrels around here. The cowards have no heart for a real fight. Why did you let that villain get away, my prince, instead of running him through as he deserved? I can't strike a man in the back. My lord! Prince Radical! There's another army coming to attack us! Thousands of them! Ah, the dinosaur army at last! What? The dinosaur army. They make a splendid side, but they've arrived too late to enjoy the party. I don't think so. The battle has only just begun, and it's going to be a long one, Lord Braveheart. My and her fearsome allies are still alive and kicking. Look smart down! Stand proud! Heads high! Hey, watch me cut that midget down to size. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, very funny. I'm proud of you, men. <laughs> you are an invincible army. My compliments, Lord Braveheart, for your brilliant victory. 
Thank you, Your Excellency, but actually it was my snail's doing. Without his intervention, we wouldn't be so light-hearted now. Giving credit where credit is due deserves a little light-heartedness. <laughs> we'll make camp here for tonight, Draco. Good idea. Lord Braveheart's troops need time to rest and recuperate. Looked like it was spying on us. Sire! That foul carrion eater is Maya's personal assistant. Tell Captain Rodak to pursue it and find out where it comes from. At once, my liege. <laughs> Prince Rackle orders you to pursue that vulture and report its movements. Yes, sir. the vulture as you ordered, and it led me directly to the camp of the forces of evil. Did you see Maya? I did, sir. Thank you, Captain. They're deployed in a single army. I have a plan that will allow us to repulse the enemy before they attack us. We'll divide our troops into two groups. One will fight on the ground, and the other will fight in the air. Now I'll brief you on the details. I will lead the airborne group that will include Chaka, Myelin, Kordal, the small knights, and the knights of the air and the light. Lord Braveheart will command the ground troops. Advance in battle formation, and as soon as you sight the enemy positions, make them retreat in disorder with sustained attacks. Your objective will be to drive them into a large open space in the middle of the valley, where we will surround them. We will attack them on all sides and destroy them. Draco! I've sighted the enemy! They're advancing behind that cloud at 7 o'clock! Look, Draco! The land forces are attacking! According to plan, they're falling into my trap without even realizing it. Let's go! I see neither hide nor hair of the enemy's forces. Just enjoying your dexterity, my lord. Idiot Escargo, do you take me for the court jester? <laughs> so be it, slug. <laughs> Slippy, make sure everybody's ready. Yes, my lord. 
cover! They're coming! <sighs> Now our next move is to corral them in the middle of the valley. The time has come for us to show this rabble our metal. Attack! This will teach him to destroy the clover fields. Sluggard. Thanks. Now Don't. it's your turn. Now let's wind up this mission. Retreat! They're following our forces into the valley as foreseen. As soon as they reach the attack zone, we'll close in. Onward! Uh, capture them! That's enough. We have to make a move. I'm on my way, Magic. This is no time to celebrate. We've beaten them, but we haven't won. Where is Maya? Huh? <gasps> Are you looking for me, Oracle? Our battle has only just begun. You will never beat us, you evil witch! <laughs> Let's see what you can do. into the jaws of death! You don't have the power to stop me, Maya! I'm going to destroy you! Let's see how good you are at walking on molten lava! <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, oh. Ah. 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 
showdown for anything. Oh, curse you, Aurora! Here's a gift for you, Maya! My lord and prince, I punished them as they deserved by imprisoning them with the same powers that they used on me. Thank you. All I did was do the right thing. What will be the destiny of Maya and her allies now, Aurora? Maybe I have the perfect solution. If you agree, I'll lock Maya and her perfidious princes of evil in a cave at the center of the world, and I'll surround them with a huge band of energy fueled by all the goodness in the universe. I'll get out of here! Good will be their guardian, and they'll stay there, as long as the peoples of the world respect goodness. Thank you, Aurora. The whole world will be eternally grateful for everything you've done for us today. The time has come to depart. My lord, you must complete your mission without any more delays. What will you do, Aurora? Disappear forever among the stars in the sky? I'll keep an eye on the prisoners, but I'll always be at your side. Farewell, my lord. Your life begins now. <laughs> Goodbye. Good luck. See if I can guess. Kindra. What are you doing here? I was tired of waiting. I had everything ready, and then you got lost in one of your stories, right? Mm, I did indeed. Want to stay around to see how it ends? Oh, sure. I'll bet it's gonna be much more exciting in the dark. <sighs> That's better. Now tell me how it ends. <laughs> Because that's the end of the story. I want to hear what happens next, well? Nothing happens next. <laughs> the story ended when I lit the candle. No, please, Rackle. My mother's back. Let's go. Have you done your homework, Rackle? Yes, mother. 
What is it, Braveheart? Are you hungry? Didn't Raquel feed you this morning? Don't worry, I'll feed you. <gasps> Thank you, Rackle. Nobody I know makes up stories better than you do. Now I have to go. By the way, tomorrow you must tell me if Rackle and Kindra live happily ever after. Huh? Oh, and not only that, I want to know how many children they're going to have. <laughs> it's details like that that make good stories. <laughs> 